Because intellect is like that. If you wake up in the morning, devoid of any… touching any life's experience within you, don't think about your child's face, do not think about the flowers in the garden, birds in the sky, nothing beautiful that ever touched you. Just think logically, you have to get out of bed, that's not a small feat. You have to brush your teeth, breakfast, go to work, eat, work, eat, sleep, again tomorrow morning same thing. Next fifty years you have to do the same process every day. If you look at it one hundred percent logically and intellectually, you will have no reason to live today morning, tomorrow morning. It's only if you're touched by something, suddenly it's worth living. If you're not touched by anything, then it's not worth living. Today, this day, more people commit suicide in this world than all the wars and murders and accidents manage to kill. So more people are on self-help already than murderers, warmongers, bad drivers, everything put together. More people are on self-help. And if this level of information onslaught continues on human mind, I know the nature of mind absolutely because I know my mind. I know how it works, what it can handle, what it cannot do. I know it clearly what human mind is. That's the reason why I don't have to uh, read people's books or listen to their entire thing. If they say one sentence, I know what their mind is. Because I know the structure of human mind entirely, otherwise I won't be who I am. So I'm saying this, if this level of information onslaught continues at the same pace or at higher pace, which is possible in the next few years, this will definitely lead to wanting to terminate yourself because there will be nothing to live for. There is no joy and excitement about anything. You please watch your children. By the time they're twelve, fifteen, they're just bored. You look back at your own life. Those of you who are over fifty years of age, just look back at in your, in your own life. When you were twelve, fifteen, was there any room for you to get bored about anything? Simply you were excited about every little thing, isn't it? Because we are talking about love and life, all this will not mean nothing. Because you had one love affair when you were eighteen years of age, you thought this is your life and you're going to be willing to die for it, whether you died for it or not. But at least at that time you thought you'll die for it, okay? <laughs> Today by the… on Facebook they had twenty-two love affairs going simultaneously <laughs> It just means nothing. I'm not saying they should have it or not have it, all I'm saying is, this will lead to a certain overload on the mind and suddenly a human being will think, why am I here? You know that big Shakespearean question, to be or not to be, yes. is not the most intelligent question. Unfortunately, people think so. This is only because you have not been touched by life. You are not a piece of life, you are just a psychological case. You're full of thoughts and emotions, you have not touched life at all. You think your thoughts and emotions are life? No. Your thoughts and emotions are the drama that you're creating in your mind, it is your cinema. You must be able to end it somewhere. If you do not know how to put the end, then it's going on endless cinema, you're going crazy. Life is happening here. You know, your work is not life, your family is not life, your career is not life, your cinema is not life, your thought is not life, your emotion is not life. Life is happening here, everything else is accessories to life. Now, the frills of life have become larger than life itself. Life is entirely missed. If you touch life within you, then it's an explosion of energy. When such a thing never happens to you because you have information about the whole cosmos on your phone screen. You will never be touched by life because too much information, too much thought, even emotion is drying up, too much thought. What is… what is so worth living about a human being? Waking up in the morning, trudging through life every day, eating, sleeping, same rubbish, what is the point? There is no point. Unless you're touched by something, some magic of life if it doesn't touch you, either in the form of love or in the form of a flower or in the form of something within you. If something doesn't sparkle within you, definitely there is a question whether I should live or not, isn't it? And we are taking humanity in that direction with this overload of information. Information is not knowing, information is just garbage collection. You just gather things which don't mean anything to you. You look smart in a tea party, but you're not smart with life.
okay? If you're smart with life, you must be blissful, isn't it <laughs> If you're really smart with life, you must be joyful and blissful, isn't it so? You're only smart in a tea party because, you know, when somebody is talking something, you know the galaxy Z22, what happens there? Everybody, wow! They can also open the internet and the same thing, you, you think this guy visited the galaxy? <laughs>